ready to get a bath, Miggy? Are you ready to get a bath? <laughs> I can't believe that you haven't run and hid in the bedroom yet. Do I have my door shut? I think my door might be shut. Yes, that's why you're out here. You ready for a bath? <laughs> All right, guys, I've got my setup going here to give the boys a bath. Mr. Grant, are you ready for a bath? He's like, no, no, I'm not. Everybody's really stinky because it's been raining the past two days and everybody smells like stinky wet dogs. So I've got um, all the beds gathered up that I want to wash. Um, I got all their beds out of their crates. I've got a load going right now and look at Look at Merlin. I just noticed you, Merlin. <laughs> what in the world? What are you doing? You like that little spot in all the beds? <laughs> so I gathered up all the beds I want to wash because they're all stinky too. Um, so we're going to um, get everybody cleaned up today and uh, get these beds cleaned up. Because like I said before, I hate my house to smell like dog so and with seven dogs it's a lot of work to keep the house from smelling like seven dogs so yes we're gonna get all this <laughs> and look at him, he's watching the washing machine <laughs> oh my goodness such a silly kitty so yeah um i don't want my house smelling like dog and i was sitting here in the chair this morning uh, watching the news and I could just smell wet dog from all the rain the past couple days. So we're going to get that done. And then I've got to tell you something that happened this morning that almost about gave me a heart attack. So I'm going to get these boys washed and we'll be back uh, to tell you what happened this morning. Okay, everyone's had their bath. Everybody smells nice for... Who knows how long it'll last. They smell nice right now. <laughs> so let me tell you what happened this morning to Milo, who's sitting here on my lap. So this morning I was uh, giving the boys their breakfast and I sat down Milo's uh, bowl and I noticed he was sitting on his butt and he had his back leg, back right leg sticking straight out. And kind of up, kind of like when cats are cleaning their cells and they got their legs sticking up in the air is the only way I can kind of describe it. Um, and I thought I had instant flashes of when Max, who is right here, um, had his spinal stroke and he had his back right leg sticking straight out because he couldn't move it. Um, I had instant flashbacks of that. Picked him up, yelled for my daughter to go get my husband who was outside on the por porch. Um, with a friend this morning. Um, the friend came by to fix a door the, a door to our garage um, we were having problems with. Um, had him come in, um, told him what was going on. Um, so we got all the, we got all the, once all the boys were finished eating their breakfast, my husband sent them all outside so we can then sit Milo down um, to see what was going on. And so we got everybody outside and I said, Okay, do you want me to sit him down? And he said yes, and sat him down, and he still had that leg sticking up. And my husband got down on his knees, started looking at his foot, and found this. Let me get it here. It's not food, Milo. It's not food. Found this stuck in his paw. The little circle thing that holds their name tags. Uh, let me show you one. Let me find one here. I've got all their collars over here because I'm about to fix them all. The little ring that holds their name tags on their collar. I will not be using them anymore. <laughs> this, These rings I've found like this um, a couple times. Um, oh, ooh, I just dropped it on the boys collars um I don't know how but they get snagged somehow um and I found a couple times not many but a couple times their name tags 
um, have fallen off their collar and find these like this. So somehow they get snagged or whatever. So I will no longer be using those. And I was looking on Amazon um, for some kind of some kind of holder that could hold their tags on because I, I want them to have tags on their collars in case they got loose. They are microchipped. Um, but a tag will be faster, especially if the people can't get somewhere where they can be scanned for their uh, microchip um, and they can have the tag on them and with our phone number and it also has our address on it too. Um, so, um, so I was trying to find something and everything on Amazon has those little rings with it. To connect them so um the only other thing i could do is have collars embroidered with their name and our phone number um but that's expensive and then how do you know how well the collars are how well they're made how long will they last will i order the right size um so i've decided to try hold on here let's see if it'll fit i think it'll fit yeah i've decided to just use a cable tie let me see. Here we go. So you can see what it is. One of these cable ties. At least that's what I call them. I don't know if that's what they're called. But I'm going to use one of these. If it's okay, it's tight. I don't know if they saw them smaller. But I'm going to use this, maybe, for their to hold their name tag. We'll see. Let me try one, and I'll show you what it looks like. I'll be right back. Okay, I got it on there. I got the um, information turned the other way, but... I don't know if I like how the cable tie um, doesn't let the name tag move around very good. I don't want to. I don't want to show you guys what I'm talking about because then it's going to show my husband's phone number and our address. But it, it doesn't move around good enough, so I'm scared it'll turn like sideways and then be jab at them in the neck. So I'm going to have to call my husband. His office is right next to a Gilroy's. So I'm going to have to call my husband and see if they have any of these that are smaller. Maybe. See how when it hangs, it's hanging kind of sideways. I'm scared it'll just get jabbed in their neck. <laughs> I don't know. I need you guys to comment below if you found something besides those rings to hook your dog's name tags onto their collar. Um, that are safe. So if you guys could give me that info, I'd appreciate it. If you guys have found anything that works good. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to have him check Gilroy's and see about that. But okay. So yeah, so that's what gave me a heart attack this morning. Um, <laughs> I thought for sure Milo had a spinal stroke. Um, the way he acted with his foot and the poor dog just had a big piece of I mean, it wasn't stuck in far, but just enough where he couldn't move his foot right to get it um, unstuck. Oh, I felt so bad. I felt so bad for him. Um, I don't know if I already said, but he wasn't bleeding or anything. So, um, poor dog. So, but anyways, I wanted to, before I end the video, uh, thank Juliana. Let me see if I'm pronouncing her name right. Yes, Juliana. She sent me this cute card. Look at that. You rock. <laughs> um, let me know how much she loves the boys in our videos. And she sent the boys this rubber stick for outside. I had to go out. We've already been playing with it. Um, so I had to go outside and get it. You want it? Go get it. <laughs> We've already been playing with it outside. They love it. So, and she also sent the boys these peanuts i haven't taken them off the uh, packaging yet you want to get you want one of these toys <laughs> hold on Monty. i gotta take it off of the cardboard um look at this <laughs> she sent these cute peanuts dog toys so i guess i better get them off the packaging and give them to the boys okay hold on guys <laughs> Monty, <let go. laughs> hold on All right, guys, it's been a little bit since I um, was going to take those toys off of the cardboard to give to the boys. They've already played with them, um, and they're already in the toy box there. Um, my husband called um, when I was getting the toys off the cardboard, and I've been on the phone 
for quite a while. So they've already played with them. They've been taken care of and everybody's relaxing and resting. I think somebody was over here. Here's Marley. Yes. And um, I think Milo, Miggy, and Mozzie are still outside um, squirrel hunting. So just wanted to get on and also thank Kathy. If you remember, Kathy sent me some photo cubes of the boys. And then shortly after, we brought Grant home. So she sent a photo cube of Grant. And she also had one made of Miggy and I. And I love it so, so much. Um, so thank you so much. I don't have the photo cubes out right now. I'm sitting in my chair. But I, ha I have them packed away. Everything that was up here on my shelves. I have all my fall decor out. So I don't have them out right now. But as soon as I do, Grant will be added to the bunch. And I think I'm going to put the one of Miggy and I right next to my bed. Yes. Thank you, Kathy. Um, yeah, so I also, I wanted to jump back on too to let you know. I forgot in the video yesterday um, when I was mentioning how Grant's vet appointment went. I forgot to mention that I had them look at his mouth because remember I thought he lost two teeth. Well, he's lost no teeth. <laughs> the vet counted them. No teeth are missing. So what I thought was a tooth the first time stuck to a bone uh, that he was eating wasn't a tooth. Now, mind you, I never touched it and got it out of the bone. I just kind of looked at it and thought it looked like a tooth. It must not have been a tooth. I don't know. Um, but it was in the crate with, I watched him as he was eating this. It's like a chewy, soft texture bone. Um, not really a bone, but a treat. Um, and when the pieces broke off and fell onto the, um, his, uh, in his crate, I could have swore it was a tooth, but it must not have been. Um, but the second tooth was a tooth because there was blood involved and yes it was a tooth I picked that one up and actually looked at it um when I saw it it was laying on the ground between Grant and Mozzie so I just automatically assumed it was Grant's tooth but it must have been Mozzie's tooth I don't know so weird so now when Mozzie goes in for a vet appointment I'm gonna have to have them look at his teeth so so yeah, they said that his his teeth look okay. They he has a teeny bit of gum recession, but she said she, she wouldn't worry about it right now since he just had a dental in March. Let's look at him again next year. So, yes. Oh, Milo, I thought you were outside. Who's outside? It must just be Mozzie and and Mickey. Let's go see. I gotta stir my. I gotta stir my dinner too. Hold on, guys. Let me stir. It's just uh, beef stroganoff hamburger helper. Easy dinner. And then there's some butternut squash. Um, I just pulled out of the oven. Yes. It's going to be an easy dinner. And then I'm going to make some uh, rolls to go with it. Let me stir that up. I could have swore Milo was outside. I guess not. Who is outside? Who is outside? Oh, there's Mozzie. Oh, here comes Marley out the door. Oh, Mozzie and Miggy, of course. Miggy, of course. <laughs> Miggy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Miggy, of course. When I was talking to my husband on the phone, after I gave him their peanuts toys from Juliana, <laughs> I was talking to my husband on the phone and came out here and was flinging that stick for Miggy and he loved it. <laughs> But obviously, someone wants to play fetch. You didn't get worn out when I was tossing the stick to you? No? <laughs> so sorry, sorry again, Juliana. I didn't get video of them playing with their peanuts toys, but they love them. Um, and especially love the stick. And thank you again to Kathy uh, for the photo cubes. And thank you, Leslie, for becoming a patron, a patron on our Patreon page. I really appreciate it. So I'm going to go... I'm going to kick this ball. He went down the stairs like a good boy. He didn't leap off the porch. <laughs> I'm going to go get my dinner done. Get my rolls in the oven. So I thank you guys again for watching. Um, please subscribe. If you like this video, give us a like. And um, we'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, oh. I kicked the bush and he leaped off the porch. <laughs> Look at everybody else wants out now. They're like, what's going on out here? What's going on out here? <laughs>
All right, guys. See you in the next video. Bye.